All right, now we've got absolute value of a real number. Denoted with these kind of absolute value bars, or denoted with straight bars. They're called the absolute value bars. It's the distance between A and zero on the number line. So negative, blah, 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 blah. hello. So the absolute value of four is equal to four, and the absolute value of negative four is also equal to four. Because there is a huge major key word in that definition. And that word is distance. Whenever you see absolute value, what I want your brain to correlate or kind of like link, jump to, whatever you want to say, is distance. So if you read absolute value, I want you to go, bing, oh, that's measuring distance. Oh, okay. So that's why it can be positive four or the negative four. Because... I am four units away from zero on the left, and I'm four units away from zero on the right. So when it comes to absolute value, whenever you read a negative, I really want you to read it as from the left, from the left, okay? And if it's positive, kind of read it as from the right. So not so much that you've got like negative $4 in your bank account, but more of like, I'm driving to your house and I'm coming from the left side. Because remember, all you're doing is measuring what? Distance. So this is four units. And this is four units. So that's why they're the same. Because you're just measuring the distance between them. That's it. So, if I'm simplifying negative two... Ooh, let me make sure I'm on the screen. If I'm simplifying the absolute value of negative 2, well, to get rid of the bars, we can say just say that that's 2. Because I'm 2 units away from the left or from the right. If I want to say the absolute value of 7 halves, just 7 halves. Because right, if I'm inside the bars, if I'm inside the bars, the negative just represents left or right, essentially. Okay, that's what I want you to think. Notice here with 8, where's the negative? Inside or outside? Outside. So kind of ignore the negative first. Evaluate the absolute value of 5. 5. Now tack on the negative. So it's kind of like a 1-2 step. So this is negative 5 because what's the difference between 8 and 6? the placement of the negative. All right, so nine, answer true or false. If it's false, explain why. If n is negative, then the absolute value of n is positive. So pause the, the video, think it over for a minute, press play when you're ready to come back. Well, let's see. Just like, use number six as your guide. So if n is negative, so say the n is negative two, then the absolute value of n is positive. So if you use six as an example, what do you think? Yeah, it's true. It's true because the absolute value always measures distance. Distance is always positive. Right? You can't be negative inside of something. Right? If, you, let's say your house is X marks the spot, right? Your house, apartment, wherever you live is where we're measuring from. Well, you can be inside of your house, but you can't be more than inside of your house. Right? So you can be zero units away from your house, right? Inside your house, but you can't be negative inside of your house or your apartment, whatever, your living quarters, if you would. Okay. So distance is always positive. Remember, what is absolute value measuring? Distance. So if absolute value links to distance, distance links to positive number. So absolute value, distance, positive. Hopefully that kind of sits well with you. If not, Write me an email, meet me in office hours, happy to talk about it more. 
The definition of the absolute value of A may be given symbolically depending on A, whether A is negative or non-negative. So let A be a real number. Oh, excuse me, definition, absolute value of a real number. If A is non-negative, that is A is greater than or equal to zero, then the absolute value of A is equal to A. Old hat, that's what we already talked about, right? This whole spiel up here. If A is negative, that means that A is less than zero, then the absolute value of A is equal to negative A. So here on this one, what it's saying is kind of going backwards, okay? What it's saying is going backwards. If A is negative, that is, so well, actually no, here, let me say it this way. That, I hate the way that worded it. So pardon me for my blank. This, I don't like this. This, no, terrible sentence, Blah, gross sentence. This, see, this is why math gets a bad rap. Here we go. A is non-negative, so let's say that A is negative two. So then the absolute value of negative two is equal to the negative of negative two, which is what this garbage is saying right here. But what is the negative of negative two? It's positive two, okay? So this statement two right here, a little wonky, kind of have to sit with it, but again, nothing's changing. The absolute value of a number is a positive number. So here it's saying, okay, assume A is negative, negative two, so negative, negative gives a positive. Again, that don't like the way they said that, but I wanted to go over it to clean up the garbage because we should always clean up our garbage.